problem number eight. It says the position of an object moving along the path is given by this function. So s of t is equal to t cubed over 4 minus 2t squared over 3 plus 3t, where s of t is the object's distance in meters from an observation point. So that means that it's its position. And they want to find its acceleration after 2 minutes. So, a of 2 equals question mark. So this function is the position. But they want the acceleration. So we have to remember that the derivative of position is velocity, and the derivative of velocity is acceleration. So we need to find the second derivative of this function. So, s prime of t is equal to v of t which is the velocity. Okay? So S prime of T, we're going to use power rule. I bring down my power, I have 3 fourths T squared minus 4 thirds T plus 3. So now I have my velocity, so this equals V of T. So now v prime of t is equal to a of t, which is your acceleration. Okay? So I'm going to find the derivative of this. So v t, the derivative of v of t, I do power rule again, so I have 6 fourths t minus 4 thirds. Okay? And this is equal to a of t. So my new acceleration function is going to be 3 halves t minus 4 thirds. Now the problem asks me after 2 minutes, so I want to find a of 2. So I do 3 halves times 2 minus 4 thirds. My 2's cancel, I have 3 minus 4 thirds, which is the same as 9 thirds minus 4 thirds, so that's 5 thirds. And that is choice C. Okay? So just to review, the acceleration is going to be equal to S double prime of T, so the second derivative. So first I have the position function. Then I find the velocity function by finding the derivative, and I use power rule. And now that I have the velocity function, I find the derivative again to find the acceleration function again using power rule. And then I, they said after two minutes, so I plug in two every time I see t, and you should have a number at the end, which is your acceleration. So when they give you position and they ask for acceleration, find the derivative twice, and then if they give you a time, plug in that time to find the actual acceleration. This is problem number eight.